Hey, how's it going everybody? Sarasota Tim. Welcome to Evening Chat. So uh, I just turned the phone on. I just start recording. I, I never usually think about, you know, what I'll talk about. I already have something kind of going in my head. Uh, but tonight I was thinking, you know, I didn't do an evening chat last night. And I've been kind of busy the last couple of days uh, doing some different things, getting the trip ready and the truck ready and some mods. Uh, some servicing done, and uh, I've been working out really hard. I kind of cheated a little bit on my diet uh, after a good month and a half of being very strict with carnivore, and now I'm um, feeling guilty about a few things that I've eaten, but, you know, one somebody once said, you can't get fat on one meal. So, uh, so I had a couple of things I indulged, and uh, I'm trying to, people are trying to do things for me and make things for me because it's the holidays and that um, yeah, I'm gonna miss Thanksgiving around here. So people are wanting to feed me some Thanksgiving things that they, they know I like. And so there's, there's a few things that I'm going to, um, to indulge on. But once I you know, get away from all of that and on my own, I will be very good because I associate more um, with my health and uh, my life and the way I look than I do for a cookie. But I had a cookie. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I had a brownie. And, you know, it's the holiday time. You guys know if you've been following me for a while, I love the holiday stuff like, you know, fruitcake, for example. And I got countless fruitcakes last year, which was really funny. And also, I got some very, I like the Braxton, but I also got some unique ones sent to me last year that um, I've never even heard of before, and they were amazing, uh, really amazing. And I shared them with other people, I gave some away, I couldn't eat them all, and I shouldn't eat them all. <laughs> but it was very, very cool. So, while I haven't even tasted my Braxton fruit cake this year, and I'll probably have to break down and, and buy a little one, you know, they sell them at Walmart or most places, they've been around the longest, uh, just to taste it. Uh, I, I probably, I probably will, but uh, Christmas time is not here yet. We got to get past Thanksgiving and I want to wish everybody now in advance a very happy, uh, Thanksgiving and Merry Christmas. And yes, we say Merry Christmas around here, don't we? And I hope to get a Christmas tree in the crasher and <clears throat> decorate it up. I hope to be back uh, from my trip by Christmas. Uh, I see no reason to be, you know, any longer. Of course, what's what's today? Today's the 15th or the 16th? Or the, I'm leaving on the 18th or the 19th. <clears throat> and so a month from then would be just before Christmas. And I would say a week travel out, a week travel back, and at least a couple of weeks stay out there uh, is is my plan. I don't think I need any longer than that. And that also gives me plenty of driving time. And I'm gonna make that part fun. Uh, I'm, I'm probably not gonna be going to, you know, uh, last time I traveled, a lot of you were saying, oh, hit up the state parks or go this and that and show us stuff instead of loves. Believe me, folks, you're gonna not see that again. You're gonna get what I give you <laughs> because I don't do that kind of thing. You can't video in those places. It's a different time of the year. And I'm not going to be rush, rush, rush. And I'm also going to be traveling uh, with a couple. And we're going to, first of all, see how that works out. And I'm thinking it's going to be just great. Uh, and it's going to be actually a different thing. I've always been kind of a solo traveler. And there will be some adjustments that have to be made. Everybody's going to want to eat at a different time, pee at a different time, and all of these things. But we have both decided that we are in no hurry. And we don't want to necessarily get a campground every night and then, uh, you know, leave the next morning to drive more miles to get across the United States. So we want to do the loves, rest stops, uh, possibly some campgrounds or casinos, uh, wherever we can search on the phone. And now the last time I traveled, I had a co-pilot uh, that gave me more information, it was information overload. So I welcome uh, emails sent to my email 
that you, you can find on my YouTube uh, site, or you can even text me some things in the comments, and I'll be um, following along if you have some, some places that you know that are reasonable. The only thing is, I don't want to spend the money every night, 30, 40, 50, or even $60 for a RV spot if I'm not gonna stay there a couple of days. And actually, even just to set it up, if it was $10, and get the water and the sewer and all that hooked up is a lot of work to jump up the next morning and try to get some miles in. You see, there's a reason for that. One, um, I would like to do it every couple of three days, you know, maybe to empty the tanks, uh, you're probably using the bathrooms at truck stops and gas stations anyway, so, you know, but um, the reason for that is this time of the year, it's going to get dark at five o'clock. I mean, it gets dark at four o'clock over on the further west you go. And so we have to crush it early in the morning after the best cup of coffee we ever drank in our life and then get on the road. I mean, no biscuits, no breakfast, and then get some miles in. I don't want to take 10 days to cross this country, and I don't want to do it in three and a half days either. But Neither one wants to, and I could, but he doesn't want to, and I gotta respect what he wants to do. You know, we have to be flexible. Uh, he doesn't wanna drive at night, and I'm not a fan of it either. In fact, uh, just a little update on my glaucoma, I just, I just did my drops, and I'll tell you, it's, it's not getting any better. I mean, the vision, uh, like one doctor told me, he says, if you live long enough, you will be blind in that left eye. And I have seen an exponential change in my vision, and I thought it was gonna take a long time because it took a long time until last year. And I started going to the doctor and got that surgery and started doing these drops, and then it picked up on going bad, getting worse. So I don't know if I should or shouldn't or whatever, I know I'm gonna get yelled at by the community, you know, oh no, take your drops, blah, 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 do the right thing, and I will. But nobody's promised tomorrow, folks. We are getting older and we're getting blinder and things can happen anytime. You gotta live your life. And so that's what I'm trying to do. And while I uh, have important people in my life, not everybody likes to enjoy the same things that I do. In fact, um, going like hell, and traveling across the country every few months isn't everybody's cup of tea. But I love this RV world, I love this traveling, and I'm excited about taking the Southern route. Yes, I gotta go through Houston again. Who remembers that? I guarantee you I'm gonna plan it. I'm gonna, I'll, we will drive either on a Sunday or a, I mean, we're gonna, we're not gonna hit that at five o'clock. I'll promise you, we're not gonna hit it at five o'clock. So we've got to be planning some things out about where we want to be each day and that kind of thing. So, you know, that's what we're going to do. Uh, what was I saying, though? You know, this is just um, a fun life. And I paid, you know, $60,000 for a new truck not to park it next to my Honda and just sit there you know, to be used whenever I need to move my camper for a hurricane or to another place to live. I bought it to travel. And travel is what, two things. One, I love it and want to do it. A lot of people like to see stuff like that. And it's great for the YouTube because yes, uh, too much of the same thing is, is a little boring. I know a lot of you will watch me do anything and uh, you care about me and I care about you, but I want to provide you some good content too. I wanna share some valuable you know, reviews and show you some places that I wanna see as, as much. And so it's kind of a win-win deal. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna leave. Um, tomorrow is another busy day. I'm getting up in the morning and uh, there's a service that has to be done. There's some more shopping that need to be done. There's some food prep and there's a lot of stuff I wanna put in the back of the truck. On the inside of the truck, I'm gonna be taking my Dometic refrigerator so I have drinks and some snacks and cold cuts or whatever I want um, in the cab, uh, the back of the cab. 
uh, in, the, um, in the Dometic refrigerator I have without having to actually go to uh, the camper. And I'm not concerned in the least about the payload or what I can carry as far as weight and uh, everything like that because I'm way, way over um, or, or under with what I have and I'm over um, the ability. I have plenty of truck and it isn't gonna make an iota difference in the gas mileage, I'm pretty sure. So I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna leave anything behind. In fact, I really thought, do I really even need to take my generator? But that's kind of like what I just said a minute ago. Why would I buy that truck and not go traveling and use it? Because the generator at any time can be used uh, to do anything and have full power. Why would I want to just like maybe not have it? Just like buying that um, uh, bottle jack today. Um, so that was a that was a great investment. I didn't get the uh, the jet power washer yet. I'm going to hold off on that. I've been thinking about it. Um, there are people that, if you can get them to show up, that do come and do a wash. And, you know, heck, it's going to be $100 with tax for that thing, plus a, a brush I'd have to buy, and my time and labor. My time is worth something. So I can invest that first $100 plus dollars for those two items, the brush, my labor, and the jet washer towards someone to come out that has a, that equipment already that can just wash it. I would prefer to wax on it, but I just want a clean canvas. And, you know, it's gone a year, uh, several months anyway, without being washed. You know, the rain does certain things. But when I took the trip to Georgia to get away from the hurricane, uh, we do have some bugs in the very front. It's not like the whole camper's dirty. It's just that very front. And I can actually do that with a hose and, um, and buy the brush. And I don't need to buy the, the jet washer. I can even spray it with the hose, you know? You can buy one of the little nozzles going into the hose and squirt it. It's the same thing, because that's all I was going to be doing with that. It's not like it really cleans the camper. Unless you rub on it with a rag or a brush, you're not going to get that film off. So you have to put a little elbow grease in there. And that's what I'm thinking that I'll... Um, uh, maybe have somebody do for me, or I can do it myself, like I said, with my own hose. So I'm not gonna do that. And so I'm trying to move my money a lot smarter than just, you know, okay, I need that, I'll buy that. You know, it's only $89 and they go for two and $300 for these gasoline kind, which is just another motor to maintenance and, and noisy. So um, anyway, moving on, not gonna, not gonna do that. And I'm getting ready to pull it across the country and up the state of Florida with bugs instantly. So why even, you know, even go through that? Maybe when I get back, we'll see. So, um, yeah, gonna get back before Christmas and I will, um, there probably won't be enough time now, but I, I didn't get a mailbox. If you would like to send uh, cards and letters uh, to me, I, I do like getting the cards to put up on the, um, <clears throat> with when I put the Christmas tree and everything up. We'll see how long I'm out there and when I'll be back. And if I can do that and uh, you want to add me to your uh, mailing list, I can get you an address that you can uh, send a uh, Christmas card to. Uh, and my birthday, because it's the 29th of December. And I know of a lot of you that like to send cards and letters to people for the holidays. It's something that we all used to do. Remember that years ago? You used to send a Christmas, just a greeting card to someone family members, friends, and, and every home you went into, every business you went into had dozens of cards, you know, or lots of cards. It wasn't like they had to give you a gift. It was just the thought, and you sent them a greeting card. And it was very nice to receive that. You appreciated that every bit as much as you do some materialistic thing. And, and that's the way I feel. Just the fact that someone would take the time to write a nice comment and send me a nice card uh, is is. Is, is awesome, you know, because we got them when I was a kid and then um, I got them a, a little bit when I was younger and, and married and things, but uh, uh, it kind of went, it kind of went by the wayside. You know, nobody, uh, maybe a lot of you still do uh, because you sent them to me, uh, but um, it's just more of a, a just give, 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 money, money, money thing now. Christmas is so commercialized, but um, <clears throat> it doesn't have to be. 
So I'm excited about the holidays. I love the holidays. I'm not a, a Scrooge by any means. I like to do the decoration, uh, get myself a tree and some lights and things. And um, the weather here is becoming, I mean, amazing. You, you've heard me complain for so long about 24 hours a day running the air conditioning. I still have to, but it is so amazingly beautiful this morning and, and cool. And this evening was nice. I got 16,000 steps in today and two sessions. I walked five miles this morning and got 11,000 steps in and knocked out another 5,000 steps uh, this evening. And uh, I feel good about it because I had guilt about some of the things that I've eaten uh, lately, but I got my 16,000 steps in. But, um, you know, so the weather is becoming amazing and the humidity is a little lower. Uh, it's still Florida, but today's high was only 80. I mean, that's unbelievable. And so as we get closer to Christmas and Thanksgiving, uh, although we've had plenty of warm, hot Christmas days here in South Florida, it's not like it's gonna stay that way, but we will get, especially January and February, where you gotta wear a jacket, you gotta wear pants. It'll be chilly, it'll be cold, it'll be windy, it'll be raw, but it's nothing like up north, but it sure will be welcome, and I'm really enjoying it. And now I'm getting ready to leave, uh, but it's only gonna be four or five weeks, and I'll be back to enjoy this amazing place that everyone will be envious of because this is where everybody wants to come uh, from the north, is South Florida. Whether it's the East Coast or the West Coast, this is the spot. It's uh, beautiful. I think San Antonio is another uh, area in the country that uh, doesn't have a winter. It has mild weather year round. And that's the kind of person I am. I could never deal. Well, I can't say that. It's not even nice to say that, but I lived in Atlanta for many years. And I was down here all the time visiting because it was too cold. But it was cold nine months of the year, seven months of the year, it's, it was cold. And then they had that hot Atlanta. It would be really hot. And, um, but, you know, can't please everybody and I can't be pleased, it seems like at all. Now, let's, let's change gears here and talk about uh, the trip again. So we're gonna go and whether I return with these people or not, or they go on somewhere else or, or whatever, it, it doesn't matter. I hope we, uh, we can travel together and have a great time together. We're gonna to play some golf. I'm talking to Johnny Vegas. I'm talking to Timmy Appleseed. I'm talking to California Jay. I'm talking to California Steve. I'm talking to so many people uh, that I met along my way. And, um, you know, I hope to run into all of them and see as many of them as I can. Some may come and just, we're gonna go do the, uh, uh, the buffet at South Point in Vegas. So I will be in Vegas, baby, Vegas. Uh, I will get over there uh, to play some golf because JV, he's got us hooked up with some friends uh, that can get us on some courses. Guess what? Laughlin and Laughlin Ranch Golf Club and the ones that I was playing the last time I was there are expensive now. Yeah, and they have this deal out there. I think Vegas is the same way. We don't have that in Florida where they ask you if you live there. And if you're not a a resident and can't show it on your driver's license, you pay a different price. I, I, I don't like that, but you know, everybody does what they do, but you can pay as much as $75 or a hundred dollars for a round of golf. I'm not going to do that. One is too expensive. And, and secondly, I want to play a lot of rounds. I want to play as much as I can and I don't want to spend that kind of money. Um, I couldn't afford to spend it anyway. So um, gonna see Johnny Vegas and all them guys for sure. Uh, California Steve is gonna come. And uh, it's, it's very exciting, it really, it really is. Uh, we're gonna shoot our guns again uh, over there in Bullhead City uh, where we shot last time. Um, we're gonna blast up some, some targets and uh, you know, wear our guns because it's open carry there. We're gonna wear our cowboy boots and our hats, we're going to enjoy this fine weather. We won't be hot wearing that stuff. Uh, we're gonna come out of our RVs and look at those 
unbelievable mountains right there outside the door. We're gonna, I bought it today. I, it's, it's in the freezer. I got us a cowboy steak and uh, burgers. I got those prime rib burgers and uh, chicken. And I bought some shish kebab uh, skewers, those wooden skewers. I'm gonna cut up some uh, chicken and peppers, maybe some beef, and I'm gonna make some shish kebabs. We're gonna grill those up. So lots of cooking is gonna be happening uh, during the traveling. And uh, once we're out there, of course, got to eat every day. So lots of good um, uh, content coming, but more than just the content, it's going to be fun. You know, I, I'm just looking forward to it. One big long vacation, one big picnic. Uh, I'm going to be hitting up Planet Fitness in the morning, going across the bridge and going down there and, and doing some lifting. You know, uh, I want to keep that going. I've really been um, doing that quite vigorously. And I'm feeling the results of it too. It's really been very exciting. To, it's such a different thing when you lift with free weights versus those machines. I mean, they work too, uh, but there's something about putting plates on a bar and, and doing the curls and the, and the bench press and shoulders and that kind of thing uh, that makes me feel, you know, really, uh, really good. And I want to live my life as long as I can, folks. I know you do too. And we know that... Even today when I tried to get up after trying to do a video on showing a bottle jack, the legs, the knees, things are, you know, you think young, but you feel, <laughs> you know, much, much older. And, uh, and I can't get it out of my head about how I feel, uh, uh, think, but I feel a different way. And I'm, I'm actually living proof now that everything I've always said about how we change from 62 to 67 uh, referring to the Social Security, of waiting for five years to get a few hundred bucks and losing your life for $500 a month that you may not ever reach or collect it very long. And it's just not even how anybody can even contemplate doing that versus getting out of your prison job as soon as you can, taking on some kind of a side hustle to supplement that free check you can get every month and start living your life, going and doing. Don't waste a day. Don't let months and weeks go by that you're gonna do something, you know, this summer, this winter, you know, next spring, like I was talking about a few weeks ago. Well, maybe I'll go next spring out to uh, Laughlin. I'll just take the Southern route. I'll just watch the weather. I'll just go, I'll just put on a jacket. But nothing's changing about playing golf. They're still going to be open. Nothing's changing about those mountains. They're still going to be there, and I get to see them. And nothing's changing about my good friends that, you know, who knows how many days they got. I want to see them again. And so life is way too short to, to gamble and to think that you have tomorrow to do something. Uh, don't worry about your money. Don't worry about anything. Just do it. Now, when I say that, you know, I'm, I'm being... Facetious, you can't just do anything you want and not worry about the money. You have to have some money. And speaking of that, buy me a gallon, will you? <laughs> the buy me a coffee link will be in every video. I'm going to leave it in every video more than I ever have. Yes, because I need the support uh, from whoever likes these videos to help me move my, my rig down the road. It's eight to ten. I think I get nine and a half. I won't lie. But I don't know if I'll be seeing 10, and I, you know, especially in these higher altitudes. I'm going to burn some gas. So if you feel like buying me a gallon tomorrow, next week, never, I don't care. But I ain't hanging my head when I say it. I am asking for those. There's so many people. I got 177,612 beautiful souls watching. And not everybody out there is broke. So uh, if you like the content, you like to support the channel, I ask you kindly. Uh, to use the buy me a coffee link. And if you are broke um, <laughs> and you got to watch your own money like we all do, I understand that. Use the Amazon link. Please consider using the Amazon link. It doesn't cost you anything. I had a subscriber leave a comment earlier saying, I got a whole big list of stuff I'm getting ready to order. And bless her heart, it's Miss Nancy. She didn't really know how to negotiate the... Um, the links to find them in the, um, in the, all you do, Miss Nancy or anybody out there is you click the, uh, the more, it'll say more 
um, on the home page or um, in the description. It says description in the video. Look, I don't put a lot of information there. A lot of people that upload videos on YouTube, they sit there and they type in their description, not just links that you can use to support them or to go to Amazon products that they're promoting, but they go into all this stuff about what their video is about and all this kind of, we don't edit around here, folks. We just don't do it. So if you can find it, fine. If you can't, that's fine too. I'm still going. And one thing I got, plenty of money. So don't you worry about it. So uh, folks, thanks for very much for watching tonight. Uh, tomorrow brings us one more day closer uh, to hooking that super crusher up to the crasher and motivating back out to Bullhead City and Laughlin, Nevada, eventually getting over unhooked in the super crusher uh, to Las Vegas and uh, hit the South Point buffet, seeing all the guys and having a great time. And we're definitely going to crush it together.